Hello and welcome to a brand new series we have just launched on our channel. It's called the Accuracy Series, or in other words, how to aim a catapult. My aim is to improve yours. Episode 1 is all about reference and anchor points. A reference point is anything you put on the target. It could be a fork tip, it could be a little mark you've drawn on the bands, it could be an aiming dimp, it could be a fibre optic sight, it could be anything like that. Your anchor point is wherever you draw back to, it could be the corner of your mouth, your nose, your eye, or even your shoulder. Your reference and anchor point is unique to you. Nobody can tell you where they are, you have to sort it out for yourself. But as a rough guide, we can follow. Basically, if you're using the fork tip or a sight on your target, forks that are around 90mm to 100mm, the wider ones, seem to suit an anchor point of around to the corner of the mouth. Whereas the narrower forks, 50, 60, 70mm forks, seem to suit an anchor point back to the cheekbone, just in line with the nose round there. But obviously you'll have to play about with them to make sure they're right. If you put your reference point on the target and pull back to your anchor point and get them exactly the same every time, your shots will always fly the same. Providing there's a few fundamentals which we'll go through in episode 2, 3, 4 and 5 of the mini-series. We have stuff like pouch release, stance, how you hold the ball, how you grip the frame. There are many other accuracy tips but the main two are reference and anchor. You imagine a 2-2 rifle, your little crosshairs. You've got your little sight at the front and you one at the back. You want to sort of line them up and pew, you pull the trigger. Similar with catapults. This being your first sight and that being your second. So how do you tune them in, I hear you ask? Well basically, you start by finding an anchor point. My anchor point is the corner of my mouth. And I use, I've actually got the wrong catapult to show you, and I use an aiming dimp. As you can see, in the middle of there, there's a little dimp. I put that on my target and pull back to the corner of my mouth, the thumbnail in the corner, and that gives me exactly what I need, up to about 15, 16 metres. Anything further, I do have to compensate and I'm a little higher. But I'm good to around the 15, 16 metre mark. So how do you find what reference and anchor point would suit you? Well, first of all, you get a target up. A big target or a piece of paper behind it so you can see where your shots are going is brilliant. If you're good enough to see where your shots are going, then just put a spinner up. If you're not, put paper behind it then you can see the holes. Let me quickly show you on a piece of paper now because it will be a lot easier to explain that way. Now changing your anchor point can move your shot up and down. Now I'm no artist, this is why my catapults <laughs> I cannot draw at all. So basically everything's marked up. These are different anchor points. These two black things are your fork tips. That's the center of the fork tips where your ball should fly. That is the target. This little thing is the reference point on the corner of the fork. So you put your reference point on the corner of the fork and draw back. And as you can see, from your eye, oh, slipped from your eye, from your eye, through your reference point, you have your reference point on your target. Keep that there. Now you might want to start with drawing back to this anchor point, but keeping that reference point there. When you draw back, as long as the pouch release is smooth and there's many other little fundamentals which we'll cover over this mini-series to make sure that your ball is always going through the middle. But there is little things like pouch release that can bump your shot off and that, but we will cover them. But let's just presume now that your ball is going through the middle. You keep your eye and your reference point in line with the target. You draw back to sort of in between your chin and your mouth. Your ball goes through the centre of the fork and your shot has gone too high, you've missed. Now if your shot goes too high, you can think, ha, ah, all you have to do, keep all this exactly the same, and move your anchor point up. So we'll move it up to this one, sort of in line with the nose. Again, the shot goes through the centre of the fork. Damn, we've missed it again. So that is your eye line, the top one. And these are your two shots, one's gone low, one's gone high. So that would tell me straight away, with the shots going higher from this anchor point, that the anchor point is too low and vice versa for this one with the anchor point being higher the shots are going lower so I'd think straight away I need an anchor point somewhere in the middle corner of the mouth you pull back to the corner of your mouth and we've got it so as you can see that one there is your eye line just by changing your anchor points you can shoot your shot up level or down fork width does play a big part in this because obviously if it's wider forks 
your reference point will be higher. If it's narrower, your reference will be lower. Well, we're going to cover that through the mini clips. We're not going to confuse you too much. We just wanted to show you the very simpleness of keeping a reference point on the target and moving your anchor point up and down to compensate. So there you have it. It's that easy to iron up and down just using your anchor point, changing it and keeping your fork tip or your aiming dimp bang on the target. Now as I say there are many different fundamentals for this which we will cover through the accuracy series but that in a nutshell is how to sort your reference and anchor point. So if you're a newbie find them so you're grouping not anything brilliant just so you're getting in and around the target every time. Tune into episode two and we'll talk to you about pouch release.